once you go to the ocrdata.ed.gov site, um, it will take you to this page. Um, so you'll see the Civil Rights Data Collection logo, a quick search, so you can search for a specific state, um, school, or a whole district. Um, but I'm going to show you, um, if you go down to Detailed Data Tables, it will let you get a bunch of data. So I'm going to pick the latest data set, which was 2017 to 2018. If you want to pick a state, you could select, you know, North Carolina or a specific area. Um, I'm going to click on this Additional Search Options button, and I'm going to select uh, middle school, so grade six, seven, and eight. Um, I'm not interested in all of, you know, these groups maybe. I'm not really concerned about specific schools. Um, so as long as you have at least a year or one of these selected, um, you can search. It might take a little bit. Um, there's a lot of data in here. So I have more than 2,500 and all of them are automatically selected. So on the left, you'll see the different school districts and individual schools that were surveyed. And on the right, you'll see the types of data that are available. So you can see um, how many students um, by subject took an advanced course uh, during these, these years um, by subject or just in general. Um, you can also look at athletics, bullying, and harassment, and they break these down into some categories. So they do lump race, religion, color, or national origin together. Um, and then they have sex as a separate category. Um, you can do completion and retention, course enrollment, demographics, disabilities, disciplines, etc. So if I want to look at enrollment data, I would click on enrollment data. It will pop up this quick gathering data report. Um, I selected all of these schools, so it's going to take a hot minute um, just because there are a lot of uh, data points in this data set. So once it's done, it will pop up this table. Um, you can get a quick look, uh, preview of what it looks like. So it's got um, race and ethnicity up here. Um, if we're just interested in looking at black folks, you can click this little X and it will remove this um, column from the sample so that you don't have such a big file when you go to download it. It does take a little bit longer though, so it might not be um, worth it. So I'm gonna leave it at that because I also, let's say, you know, wanna compare um, students that are Hispanic or Asian or Hawaiian Pacific Islander, and they break these down using the census um, responses as well. So some of these wordings might change. Um, they also have these uh, categories here. So I will go back um, to another page to show you what those mean um, and how you can find out what these different columns mean. So as you scroll down, you'll see the different schools in the total enrollment and then the enrollment broken down by race or ethnicity or the enrollment of um, Section 504, IDEA eligible, and LEP students. So in the upper left, I'm jumping around a bit, you have different export options. So if you're going to be working in Excel, you might want to use Excel 2003. Um, you could also use a CSV, which just downloads this as a simple CSV so that you can open it up in a um, another type of data editor if you wanted to. Um, so I usually download stuff in CSVs because it's a smaller file size too. So you click export. And you can also just print the table if you want it in like a nice PDF um, or if you want to literally print it out. Um, but it is a really long uh, data set if you have all the states and all the schools in here. So that's maybe if you've got one or two schools that are selected, like maybe just Guilford County, um, you could print it. So you'll see this is loading. This might take a little bit because there are so many data points. Um, as long as you see, you know, some sort of movement, sometimes the, the little movement will say loading in the lower left. Um, so it's still loading and it might not load before my recording time runs out. Um, but what it will do is it will give you a pop-up um, to save the file onto your computer and then you can open it up in Excel. So here we go. Or you can just open it directly in Excel. So this is what this data set looks like now that I have downloaded it to my computer. So you can do things in Excel with this data. You can sort it. Um, uh, I'm going to expand so you can sort it by, let's say, state, or let's just go ahead and state by the student's enrollment. Um, so we've got, you know, Alabama, Arkansas, Arizona, maybe this one's Arkansas. Um, and you can fiddle with it.